Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Black 2 True Randomized and Nuzlocke. My name is Damon, and oh boy, here we are. Alright, uh, oh, I get it. The outlook is Aspersia's most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Thanks, Jackson. Anyways, in the last episode, we basically just uh, kind of went over what this, uh, what, the, what this game is about and what this randomizer is, uh, and I gave you guys some choices as to what our starters were, as Bianca will explain to us just now. It's so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Damon? That would be me. Oh, wait, you're Damon. Well, I guess I would know that. Wow. You're exactly like what I heard. Now, how would you not know who I am? Nice to meet you. I have a really important question to ask you. Um, will you help us complete the Pokedex? Oh, wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokedex is totally fun. Ah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, then. Ta-da! In here is the Pokemon that will be your partner. <laughs> and we had the choices of the fire type Pokemon Badoo, the bug type Pokemon Togepi, and the ground type Pokemon Bellsprout. All three of which have to evolve by a stone, eventually. Uh, well, you evolve by friendship first. You evolve by friendship first. You evolve by level up. And then all three of them need to evolve by a stone. Which, because we're in a true randomizer in Nuzlocke, who knows what kind of stones we'll end up finding in this game. We may not find any of them, we may find all three of them. But, by a majority vote, we are going to be picking... Not Bellsprout, sorry Scott. We are going to be taking, picking the Bug-type Pokemon Togepi. Not the Fire-type Rose, and not the Grounded Leaf thing. We are going to be, taking, be picking the Bug-type Pokemon Togepi. Is this the Pokemon you want? Yes. Oh god. Damon chose Togepi. Oh, wow! You and Togepi are a perfect match! By the way, uh, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? Yes, I would. Give me a second, I didn't think this through yet. Okay, I am going to be calling this Togepi Panor. And that is because I am basing that name off of the uh, Mechoptera, which is an order of insects, otherwise known as scorpion flies, because I was looking for giant uh, sort of insects, because this thing is a bug type, and I know that it, a flying insect that by that, because I know it's going to become Togekiss, which is going to be a giant flying bug. Well, we don't know if it'll be flying bug, but I assume it'll just be a giant bug bird thing. And I looked up, and apparently there are things called scorpion pies, scorpion flies, not pies, the largest family being Penorpidae, uh, in which the males have enlarged genitals that look similar to the stinger of a scorpion. Didn't read that part, but we're just going to call this Panor, and we are going to move on with that. Hopefully, it's fitting enough. I hope it's fitting enough anyways. Sorry, just starting up a timer just so I can keep track of how long I've been recording because I don't want to keep going over. Panor, is that the nickname you want? Yes. Panor, that's such a great name. Okay. Now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too, a Pokedex. Thank you, Bianca. I will take that Pokedex. Then you receive the Pokedex. You want to know what it does? The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So Professor Juniper wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the universe region. Still, that Professor Juniper, the normal thing to do is to get an okay before sending someone clear out here, right? Right. Uh, let's check on Panor. Who is just a bug type? Okay, not a dual type, that's fine. High special attack, good good stats all around, I would say. Hypercutter. 
Prevents other Pokemon from lowering its attack stat. This thing's basically Pinsir. It knows Barrier, Fury Cutter, and Shadow Sneak. Man, if this thing grows up to become a Ghost Bug, that's going to be interesting. Or a Psychic Bug. I don't know if that's how it works, if it predicts the future dual types and adds that to the roster, or if you just got lucky. I don't know. Either way, that's a interesting Pokemon you got. Thankfully, you don't have just one move. I thought you would have Metronome, and that was it. Hey! How long are you planning on keeping me waiting, anyway? Hey, what's that? Whoa. So that's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex. Hmm. I don't have one of those. I need one. Please give me a Pokedex, too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um... Who are you again? That doesn't... That doesn't really make sense. Um... I'm Jackson. I'm going to travel the Universe region with my Pokémon partner in order to search for something very, very important. Um... Oh... Okay? Uh, well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokédex on me. You know, they cost... a lot, but... I'm sure Professor Juniper won't mind. Uh, it looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago, so the more the merrier. Jackson has received a Pokedex. Oh, that's like. Okay, goodbye. Ah, uh, of course not. Huh! Let's see how good of a trainer you are. I'll use my Pokemon that I raised from an egg. So, not the starter Pokemon then. Damon versus. Jackson. Okay. Gentleman Jackson. Of course. Who has? Oh. Bellsprout. Okay, you do have a starter. Oh, boy, that's a bug type. Not bug type, that's ground type. Has airlock. Well, that's a interesting little guy you got there. Oh, Fury Cutter's a... Oh, God damn it! I don't have very good attack at all. That's... That's a physical type move. Crap. Shadow Sneak gets a physical type move crit too. God damn it, you did not get blessed. How what barrier again? Wait, is this defense? Is this do you, don't you have good defense though? Pretty good. Oh, I'm scared of what this thing has. Uh just fairy cutter, why not? It's stab. Hopefully it does decent. Not very effective. Oh boy. Earth power. I won't forget the pain you just put my partner through. A little splinter. I'm going to bury you because you have earth power, which I'm assuming is physical. Hope so. Not a physical move. Well, good thing to note. Another rule I have. we The, the lock does not officially start until we get Pokeballs, where we catch another Pokemon. So if we die, that's... That was super effective. Unfortunately, we died, but... That's okay. That was good enough for your first battle. Cool. I'm heading off first. Get stronger. So, Ghost was super effective. Oh, I need to, I need to do what I did with the first series and pull up a a Pokemon type chart. Okay, hang on. Give me a second. Okay, we now have a Pokey type chart up. So let's see. What is Ghost good against? It is good against um, Ghost and Psychic, which means. That bell sprout was either a ghost ground or a psychic ground. Well, ground psychic or ground ghost. Which I don't... Does ground ghost exist? I don't know if that exists or not. Either way, we could have gotten a dual type if we had chosen bell sprout and it would have had earth power. But we chose Togepi. That's okay. The Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this other one is still weak. So battle with it and make it stronger. Alrighty. Let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who get who paddle and get hurt. I can't decide on what voice to give you. Sorry, Bianca. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Okay. Moving along. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. Ah, uh, we already know all this. The Pokemon Center heals Pokemon for free. You should bring your Pokemon here any time of the week. I'll hear your Pokemon. Hand me your Pokeball for seconds. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Or whatever your name is, maybe you're not Nurse Joy. Next, I'll explain the PC. 
This square thing is a PC. Any trainer is free to use it. That means Bruce's little computer, by the way. You can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. Because, you know, we're leaving, Max. The next thing is over here. This is the Pokemon. Here you can buy and sell many different things. The Pokemon, the Pokeballs you use to catch can also be bought at the Pokemart. Here, Damon, I'll give you some Pokeballs. And the lock is officially started. Well, this is going to be awkward. Next up, I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs. Actually, I think for this lock, I'm going to have it that the lock doesn't officially start until we get a second Pokemon, because we don't know how overpowered the first Pokemon we run into is going to be, and that could be very unfortunate. I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs. Follow me. Oh. Uh, sure thing. Oh, nice to meet you. You must be Bianca, right? And Damon picked to pick then. <coughs> and Damon picked Togepi then. Hehe, <laughs> looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take these. They're running shoes. Thank you, mother. A perfect fit. I'll read the instructions to you. Put the B button to run faster than all, put on the running shoes, race straight ahead of the blah, 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 blah. Um, this is for me. Town map, thank you. Uh, you're gonna say this tune, right? Why are there two town maps? Uh, I want you to give the other one to my big brother. That's a good idea. Even if it is a single road to the ocean, having a town map is always nice. I mean, if you use a town map, you'll know all about the, what the Unifer region is like. Ah, oh, you guys. Just watching this is making me happy. Come on, we're heading to Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch Pokemon. Ugh. The voices overlap. Bon voyage! Take to, to Togepi and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. Sure thing, Mom. Oh, boy. That one guy had red hair. Hey, Damon. Uh, you can't go without... Oh? Oh, you were Togepi. Okay, this is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Take it. Thank you for the potion. When Pokemon get hurt, take it easy and go to Pokemon Center. Thank you, miss, who I apparently am supposed to know. At 19. Hey, this way! This kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Okay, here's how it works. The Pokedex's pages fill up automatically when you meet Pokemon. By the way, did I mention that you remind me of someone? And when you catch a Pokemon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokedex. Really interesting name, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon, starting now! Okay, Bianca, who are you going to catch? Oh, it's just a... just a purloin. And you're going to use a little pup. Well, that's boring. That's really boring, you have... Why can't this be like Wally? Man, when we had Wally randomized, completely randomized back in the day, things, things went weird. Really, really weird. Because he killed his, his, his encounter. You have 30 poke. Why couldn't you give me some of those Pokeballs, Bianca? You could spare. I mean, you gave me some. I don't know how many. Maybe 10? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, you caught Purloin. Can you give me that Purloin so I have, can, can have a second Pokemon? No. What a relief. I caught a Pokemon. Oh, um, right. I'll go over the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch. You need to remember this next bit. It's supposed to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. Use your Pokemon's move to lower the HP of the Pokemon you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. You're gonna deliver the town map to your friend, right? Uh, continue straight this way to get to flow Essie, Flo... flow Sissy Town. Bye now! Meet lots of Pokemon and catch a lot of them too, okay? Sure thing, Bianca. Sure... thing. What's the first encounter we run into? Neater and female. Not bad. Level 2. Imposter! Well, that's awkward. <sighs> well, you could be useful, but we'll never know because you have imposter, so that's going to be awkward. That's going to be awkward. Um, I'm going to barrier because you have just physical moves. Please don't kill me. Didn't do a lot of damage. Good. Please don't die. Okay, you didn't die either. Good, good. Use, use that barrier. Be smart. Use that barrier. I will use Shadow Sneak. You'll use Shadow Sneak. I'll use Shadow Sneak. You'll use Barrier. I don't... 
I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know if barrier... Does barrier work multiple times? Maybe it does. I don't know. Either way, how many Pokemon do we have? Ten. Let's hope we can catch you. God damn it. Uh, okay, I'll try and hit you some more. And do little to no damage. That's okay, you do little to no damage either. There goes Fury Cutter. Come on, I can get you down to the red. Maybe. That was a crit. That's painful. Mm. I was fearing that would happen. I was really fearing that would happen. Because I knew that crits went through defense buffs. Well, that's unfortunate. First encounter, wasted. Yeah, well, let's buy some Pokeballs if we can. I don't know how much money we have, if any, because we didn't beat Jackson, so we didn't get any prize money for that. Uh, we could buy a f couple. Um, I'll buy six, just so I can have 15. I'll buy... Let's spend the rest on potions, because we are going to need potions. A lot of potions. Uh, come on, let's try and catch a Pokemon again. Uh, there's gotta be a place where we can catch a Pokemon. Can we not go south of this town, or west, or east, or... No, just north? Well, wow, that sucks. Oh, no, I have a town map. I can check. Um... Oh, I guess we really can't go anywhere else but north. Huh. For some reason, I thought we started, like, right here. I thought that's where Aspicia City was. Guess not. Oh, well. Uh, what else could we have caught? A pat rat? Well, that's normal. Please don't do a lot of damage to me. I need some XP, so I'm gonna try and kill you. Got a sneak. Iron barbs! Well, that's nice. Goodbye, friend. Never gonna speak to you again. Also, this is there's gonna be a lot of me running back and healing, so I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out. As much as I hate to say it, when we end this episode, I'm gonna have to do a grinding montage. Just because I do not, do not want my Pokemon to die right away. Hopefully, we can run into some more Nidorans because I get some XP off of that. Know what? I'm searching for Pokemon in tall grass. That's right. If you don't want any Pokemon, go with the tall grass. Can I fight you? I'll just fight him first. An awakening. Not bad. Hey, you know about ledge jumping, right? Oh, well, I guess you would know you could jump off these little ledges. Yes, I would. More pet rats. No thanks. You hurt. Badly. <sighs> you there, trainer. My name is Alder. I'm a trainer with a keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk toward the future together with Pokemon. And you are? Hmm. So you're Damon from Aspersia City, eh? You don't look like much. Kinda scrawny, kid. Your Togepi is a fine-looking Pokemon. I can tell by looking through your Pokeball. But, you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Okay, Alder. Whatever you say. Your Togepi is male. I wonder what the difference is between male and female Pokemon. Uh, there's some differences. I don't think there's a difference between Togepi, though. Not very distinctly. Oh, that's right. Damon, are your Pokemon well? Your Pokemon are always doing their best for you, the trainer, so you must always be kind to them. My house is just a little farther. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you'd like. I already did. Alder, thank you. Very much. Hey, this way. Shall we start training? Hmm. By the way, why are you holding two down maps? I don't know how I saw into your bag either, but... Oh, ho! Oh, it's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the Oshawott, is it? <coughs> your friend is the one with the Bellsprout, isn't he? It just so happens he was training his Pokemon on Route 20. Well, if that's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Just follow this road. It goes to Route 20. Thanks, Alder. Uh. Oh, look, an encounter, not encounter, but a person I can fight. You can tell how much your opponent wants to fight by looking into his or her eyes, don't you think? Don't know what kind of voice that was. Writer Ann has an Encada. Pressure. Great. Barrier. 
Please don't have a fire type move. Hypnosis. Well, I have an awakening. Didn't really want to use it now, but I guess. A psychic type. Well, this should hurt a lot. Ooh, doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Or hoped it would, rather. Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion. Oh, this is gonna be bad. A long and perilous journey, thank god. Wow, I can really tell that you want to win, man. Oh boy. Oh god, I don't want to fight you right now. You know what, I'm going to call it here for today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Black 2 True Randomized Nuzlocke, make sure you do leave a like, still share your support. When we get back, we will be going forward onto this route, hopefully catching a Pokemon, hopefully meeting up with our friend. But that'll be all for next time, so for now, thank you guys so much for watching, like I just said, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.